was your excuse? Burn in hell, you bastard! Okay, um, so, Deadstream. This is the latest film from Shudder, at least at the time of recording. This is the latest film from Shudder. And it um, is a good one. It is a very, very good film, as the joke earlier alluded to. Uh, yeah, this is basically dash cam done right. Yes. This is every single thing we've had, every single problem we had with that fucking train wreck of a movie. This film fixes in, in, in every single way possible. Where that movie zigged, this movie zags. And it's this movie's excellent. I really like this film. This movie is funny. It The story, where much one of my biggest problems with Dash Cam is like the story didn't there make no any... There is no story. It didn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. This story is tight, easy to follow. The character, while he is kind of a douchebag, he's got a certain charm. Jeez. Almost like a certain internet personality. Oh, gee. We <laughs> insert internet personality you don't like here basically <laughs> uh, um but yeah no like this movie yeah much like dash cam yeah our main character is sort of unlikable but but our, there's a charm to but, it but unlike with dash cam he's endearingly unlikable like there's an endearing childlike sensibility to him actually whereas in dash cam she was just a bitch yeah this guy does especially toward the end you do see some room like he's do, he'll do almost anything for views but there's a limit even to him yeah. and I, I really like that also another thing and again I, I I don't like to kick a movie down but I fucking hate we it. We hate dash cam. cam so fuck it. So this one's gonna be very dash cam hatred centric but one of the other things that I really like about this movie is I'm assuming I didn't do a ton of research before we did the review but I assume that this is a super low budget It is film. very low budget. And one of the things I really liked and dash cam did this too but I, again this movie did it so much more competently is there are some there, there, there are some things that they do to cover up how low budget they are but it works in the story narrative and it looks really good yeah like that's the thing also just dash cam in general probably has like 10 times the budget this film has probably uh, which the fact that this movie also infinitely looks better and looks more expensive than dash cam does. yeah it just, does this movie is just more proof as to why dash cam is the worst fucking film of the year yeah fuck that movie yeah um but no this film like yeah the effects are very like you can tell low budget a lot of them are just like dummies and uh, dummies and masks and stuff but it works it does uh, it, there's a very charm this movie the the thing that i kept getting is evil dead very strong evil dead and house mm -hmm. uh the american one not the japanese films um but the american house films, especially the first one which is the kind of puppet work and the ki uh, kind of how the ghosts even really work operate in this movie the ghosts are very similar to how they operated in house yes and much like evil dead like we don't have a lot of characters in this film but the ones we do have you could tell i could totally believe someone might have actually accidentally broken their finger or their, you know, leg or something on this. Um, there's a scene where one of our characters goes down the stairs and I was like, ooh, yeah, you know, it's no, very believable. Absolutely. Well, I was listening to an interview with the directors and they were talking about, like, uh, our lead, the rig he had to wear for the entire movie, like, gave him headaches constantly. The headlight and the head cam and everything and the rig he had to carry was super cumbersome and heavy. So I hats off to him for being able to pull it off and, you know, not want to murder everyone by the end of the film. And not only that, he gives such an energy he does. He is a really great. He's really great in this, which is interesting considering he's not actually that much of an actor. Like he's neither of both of these. This is a co-directing team of, I believe, their brother and sister. I could be wrong. Their or they might be husband and wife, but I believe they're brother and sister. Um, and he's and he's he's both our lead and they co-wrote the film and co-directed the film. And neither of them have done anything this high high budget before. A lot of it was like shorts and in, a very indie DIY stuff, which this film definitely you can feel the DIY uh, art in this. Yeah, you can very much feel that. Um, and he's also not very much like a trained actor or anything, but he does a really fucking excellent job here. Yeah, he really does. There, 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 again, he, he, he's, he's someone you would tune in, even if you don't necessarily like him necessarily, you would tune and watch. There's a charismaticness, there's an energy, there's there's kind of a childlike quality yeah. to him in a, in a way, not in a sweet kind of syrupy sweet way, but kind of in a 12-year-old, 13-year-old dickish way, but endearing. Kind of in the way of 
oh, much like a lot of YouTube influencers, of the way of, oh, he was a kid when he started this and he's never had to grow up because he hit it off and got lucky. Yeah. Uh, that's very much like the kind of vibe you get from him. And also, again, this story, it's, it, it's not convoluted at all. It's pretty simple, but it's a smart and tight story. And one of the things I really like about it, sure, we could have just gotten a standard haunted house found footage YouTuber story. Sure, we could have done that. But I like that they gave this character a backstory because something happens where he gets demonetized. This is kind of, he's making this live stream in this haunted house as his comeback video to show everybody and kind of say, hey, I fucked up, but please keep watching yeah, me Yeah, look, stuff. I can still do great stuff, and I, I'm sorry for my mistakes I did. I'm really, truly sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and I really like that because it gives it, it gives it a lot more depth to this character, and as YouTubers, we can relate it. Also, another thing, I don't know if these people are you like like watch a lot of YouTube, but God, I felt called out in a very good way. Like, oh God. I so Phil, it's authentic. Yeah, like the opening of this movie genuinely feels like you pulled up a YouTube a video or something, like, which is something I really strong praise for the movie because a lot of films don't achieve that that well. This movie does in a very strong way. It felt like I was watching a like kind of knockoff or a spoof of like Buzz Buzzfeed Unsolved videos, and that's kind of the whole vibe the movie has. If you are also like me and a fan of those videos, this is basically if the Goat Man episode. Fuck you, goat man! Holy shit! If you want me off this bridge, you're gonna have to kill me! Holy you're shit! You're gonna have to throw me off this bridge yourself! You did throw somebody off the bridge once. Look at the way I dance on it. I disrespect your bridge, goat man. They're gonna put my name in graffiti. Oh my god. Okay. Children will come here and tell tales of me! This movie, another big praise I have for it is it hits the ground running. Like, it had me hook, line, and sinker within the first couple minutes of the movie, and that doesn't happen very often, and I never once was bored during it. I was engaged. I was having fun. It's, it, 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 it's nothing new. It doesn't add anything new to the horror well, but it's very well executed. It uses a lot of tropes, but it it's like makeup. You can't tell they're doing it. It's so seamless, and yeah. it's a really pretty picture at the end of it. And I also like the effects. The special effects, again, low budget, but what they have to make it, like, you know it's low budget, but you're like, God damn, that looks pretty good. There's a really endearing quality in its low budget aspect, though. Like, they're real, the, the effects work are really damn endearing, both, like, the actual practical physical effects, as well as a lot of the puppetry and a lot of the dummies and stuff. It all looks really damn good. It really does. In a really cheap way, which I just love. It really, like, the director said that they really, this movie started out as a straight-up DIY film that they were going to do in like even pre-pandemic and then they finally kept you know, hacking at it and hacking at it and then they came out with this and they started to lean in a bit more of a comedy direction and then they added in wait let's actually make it a little bit less comedic and make it actually a little bit more creepy and scary which like there's some scenes that work there's some really great scare scenes in this there's one and it's both like a good scare scene as well it's just a really fucking great uh, and inspired shot uh, with him having a camera at the end of a spear and then he stabs something and then we do a 180 twist on the spear being pointed back at him. It's both funny, actually a pretty good jump scare, and a really great shot. And speaking of jump scares, this movie knows how, and like I've seen- It more, does it so well. I know I've seen like bigger, way bigger budget movies that can't do jump scares this well, and I've seen lower budget, and, and it's a hard thing to pull off. I'm not like being a total dick here, but like this movie knows like not to do it, to not to overkill it, but knows when to put it, and some of the jump scares, while they didn't make me go, <gasps> they were very effective and I'm like this is handled very well executed it's tight it's it's smart I like what they're doing also I want to go back to the comedy for a this second this movie's funny this, as shit this movie and I'm a harder I think I'm a harder sell than yeah, you, you are yeah you are comedies are just generally harder for you yeah and there were there was like a handful of times which I was laughing in fact there was one line in particular that got me where he's like fucking garlic is bullshit garlic is bullshit <laughs> <laughs> and, and again it, it's not it's not the line in itself is funny, but the way this director actor is is delivering it, it just, the lilt in his voice, everything just for me, it's as much as how you say it as what you say is how it's oh, funny to absolutely. me. Absolutely, there's so many really good bits about the movie. Also, one thing I like is another thing to go back to fuck dash cam. Uh, one thing that this movie also does infinitely better than dash cam, and this was my only praise for dash cam, was the live chat element of the film. Yes, uh, this film does it even better than dash cam yes. did. And again, that was the one thing. 
thing I actually did like about Dashcam, but this movie does it so much better. There's a lot more personality, and much like Dashcam, uh, it's there's a lot of points where like there are little ongoing story arcs for some of the people in chat. Like one thing I noticed is there's a couple times where somebody's like, "Well, in honor of this video, I'm gonna go propose to my girlfriend," <laughs> and then like 30 minutes later in the movie, you'll just see the same username. She said yes. And so I'm like, that's just such a great little attention to detail. There's a bunch of little touches like that. I really like a lot of them. And much like with all kinds of live streams, I like that they get a good mix. Some of them are actually fans and positive, and, and some most of people them are just trolls. Hate, and some of them are just hate watching. Yeah, yeah, and that's a pretty good mix. It 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 has a very real, authentic, both in the acting and the YouTube life and in the horror. All three hit their marks and hit them so well. And also, this is a perfect film for October. Dude, it it's a really, fucking haunted house. It really is. Like this is a great movie to check out for Halloween. This is a bit, this movie like even though it's not set during Halloween or anything like it has such big Halloween energy for it and if you have like I wouldn't say super little kids but like the 12 11 to 10 to 12 year olds I as long as you're okay with them hearing a little swear and I don't think this would be there's wrong. nothing in the film that's like super bad really yeah no. if you want to try to this would be a growl I'm saying if they're old enough this would be a great gateway into horror if you're trying to turn your little ones you know get them hooked for life this would be a good one this would be one I would recommend yeah this is to totally and one I think I really like about the movies the kind of self-awareness of the film of like there's a lot of points where you're like okay the guy fucking okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I don't leave this house I took the spark plugs out of my car and needed them <laughs> also I'm bolting myself into the house and throwing the key in this storm drain like there's some really great self-awareness to them also I love the running bit of like some of his followers sending him in videos and then one of them you can tell it's like a crew member or even like some or someone's fucking kid and they just has him in like the uh, fucking me like hello Steven I, I I'm a big fan of yours and I did some research and this rune right here and blah 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 and all that and, and you the, fucked yourself and you fucked yourself by the way Steven and the guy's just going this kid's like 12 what the fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is great there's another great bit with an older woman who who ties into the movie also and there's a great line with her where it's like and I put one up in the attic too oh yeah uh, he destroyed that Nana oh shit he's fucked uh, I, and it's so just, many great lines in this movie it really is like for me the nothing will top is garlic is bullshit garlic is bullshit that is probably my favorite line as well that got the biggest laugh out of me I really liked it but there's laughs throughout the whole movie but again it's not just it, it's, it is very much Evil Dead in the sense where that when it's funny, it's funny. But when it does want to use the more horrifying aspects, it works the, just as they well. They said it in an interview, and I totally agree with them. The movie starts off as Evil Dead, then the midpoints Evil Dead 2, then by the end it's Army of Darkness. They're totally right about that. And again, there's a little bit of house in here, there's a little bit of the gate, a little bit of Blair Witch, of course, because found footage element to the film. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, it's it's a really great mishmash of a lot of classic horror films, while still feeling very distinct and of its own creature. Like you said, it's not it's not reinvent the horror wheel or anything, but it does have its own distinct feel and its own distinct personality to it, unlike any other film. Yes, and except I, maybe dash cam. But again, fuck dash cam. And 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 I think that this will appeal to so many people. If you're in the YouTube game, you're gonna feel called out. But it does it. It's very lovingly done. It's, it's not, in the same way who Superhost did the same thing last year. It, it's it, it's a it's more of a loving homage than you know a, you know really trolling anybody and also horror fans are gonna like it you can bring your kids in but you're not gonna be bored either out of your mind and I think your kids will enjoy it and, and it, even though it's not set on Halloween it has the perfect October feel this is one I could see people throwing in on their vengeance and having it in every oh, year oh it totally is a gonna great be, haunted house it, movie it's totally gonna become an evergreen yeah it is and that, you know that's a hard I've talked about before this is a hard genre to sell for me I don't like a lot of haunted house movies or paranormal ghost, uh, ghost movies I find a lot of them very drab and kind of dull. Uh, this movie does it, does it really damn well. And I love the way the ghosts operate in this movie. <laughs> There's so many good bits of uh, like how the ghosts operate. It's so fucking tongue-in-cheek and so wonderfully done. My favorite is there's a bit where he has to fall downstairs, but he kind of hurt the ghost too because the vote got... This is a movie where ghosts can like be stunned by hitting, hitting the head with a cleaver and stuff. That's just how this movie works. And you can strap them down with duct tape. Uh, because, duct because 
because duct tape will do anything. I told Sparky we must keep duct tape um, in our but car. But he has to fall down the stairs, and then he's crawling, and then you hear in the background the ghost going, ah, I'm gonna get you, Steven, <laughs> and then you hear the, the ghost falling down the stairs as well, which I'm just like, that's a great bit and a great attention to detail. I love that. Also, I love, again, going back to kind of self-awareness, I love the fact that he just had, the music in the film is diegetic, he just made a mixtape of original music that's very Carpenter-esque and very synthy that you'll just have characters, uh, him play, or the, one of the ghosts start playing once in a while just for random intense scenes, but a lot of the movie doesn't have music because the fucking Walkman isn't being played. Yeah, that's which I love. That's such a cool idea. It's like, it's a little over, it's a little goofy admittedly, like, oh, he, this YouTuber went through the hassle of making original music for this live stream, but this, you also genuinely believe this is something this character would totally do. And some other YouTubers, going back to the YouTuber aspect of one of the scenes I really love is he when he falls down the stairs like the one camera that or the, that he's seeing like comments and stuff on gets broken and he's like and he's like he's in mortal danger this ghost is outside of his car this kind of zombie thing and he's like doing it and it's really a good and intense scene and he's going I don't even know if I'm streaming or not yet and I'm thinking oh my god so like I, we could be dying and like oh, the views guys the views think of the sponsor Stephen exactly and it's funny but it's again very believable with this character and some YouTubers. I know I would be one of those. Yes, you're we're in mortal danger, but are we still streaming? I yeah, love no, that. I really like the film. It also like has like it's not the priority of them, but it has a really kind of nice little poignant message about like the quest for fame and everything too that I really like with the parallels between our main character as well as one of the ghosts. I actually I really like that that little th detail they put in the movie. They didn't have to put it in there, but it's very much appreciated by me. And it just these little touches that Dash Cam never once did <laughs> and makes this an infinitely better movie. Like, if you liked Dash Cam, I question your taste, but I respect it. Um, but watch this movie instead and tell me this isn't a better version of that fucking movie. Yeah, this is a lot better than that, and it just works on so many levels. And it's a fun movie. Like, yeah, we all want to get your thrills and chills in October, but sometimes you want to add a little bit of more fun, and this, this mixes the two really well and it, I just keep going back. This is a perfect one for October, and I'm kind of like, I'm surprised. I know Little Miss Freak Show did a review. I, we haven't watched it yet because I knew we were going to be doing it for our own channel, and I never listened to reviews for, you know, the thing, but um, I haven't heard that many people talk about it. I haven't heard anyone it. talk about it. I think it's a damn shame. Like, I, like, I, I, God, could you imagine, like, granted, it's not going to because host hit at the perfect time with the pandemic and everything, but God, I wish this was the creative team that, like, no offense to host or that creative team. I respect them for everything they do to post, and I like a lot of stuff about hosts. Dash can go fuck itself again, but I like I, I did appreciate hosts. But man, I really wish this was the movie that got released during the pandemic, and like everyone was oh, hyper fixated on, and they got the contract with Bloomhouse. Yeah. I, could you? I would love to hear these directors just get an evergreen contract and just make whatever the fuck they want to from now on. Oh, I would I love to keep an eye on this team. Man. Yeah, they. I, I would totally agree. This channel will be keeping an eye out in anything, and you guys are definitely where are big fans if you ever run across this video big fans you guys have so much energy it's so so you you manage to like do familiar things but you bring a breath of fresh air and really energize it and make it fun and this is one of those movies like it's fun to be a horror fan yeah, it's this, cool this movie's just at the end of the day really fucking fun i really really like this film very strong positive for me i highly recommend checking it out for during october it has uh -huh. that energy really down pat you should totally it makes a great part of the binge and fits alongside any other movies. Um, what, one movie that are, it's not even a movie, it's a TV episode that I kept telling Christian, oh my god, the Tales from the Crypt episode about the talk show host that goes into the haunted house, I feel the like... The Warren Downey Jr. episode? Yes. I feel that these two would be perfect companion Hell, even pieces like, together. Granted, this movie is way totally different than these films, but it kind of also fits pretty well with the Hell House trilogy. It kind of does. Just a little bit, but it's not, a, it, no, those films are way more intense than this film is, but if you need something to come down down after the fucking insanity that that franchise goes into, uh, this would make a great downer. Yes, or the Tales from the Crypt episode. Or, yeah, anything. Or just watch on its own. 
And I th what we're saying is, watch Deadstream. It's really fucking great. Ask for it by name. It is streaming on Shutter. It is. It is. And I do. I don't have any cons. And for my I don't either. And for my letter rating, I will give this an A minus. It was really good. It's one that I could. Uh, now I do see myself. Now, and I don't do binges the way a lot of you guys do. But I can see this in October seasons every couple of years. I can see myself throwing this on and for having sure. a good time with it. It's one I think it's being slept on. Like I said, the only other channel I've heard that's talked about it is Little Miss Freak Show. You guys should definitely go check out her review and see what her thoughts are on it but it's a good time from us it's a really really good time and i feel like people are sleeping on it and it's a damn shame and like i said if you got if the directors are ever come across this video big fans guys big fans absolutely absolutely totally recommend it so that concludes another day in our 31 days of halloween and it's marching on and i don't know what we have tomorrow do we get an incest video yet People no. are just excited. Question mark. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, to be continued. So we don't know what we're getting into, but you guys will see it tomorrow. We hope you come back because we hope you're enjoying your our 31 days of Halloween. And as always, booze and ghouls, if you're new around here and do happen to like the contents of this channel, please hit that subscriber button because we do appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, in the meantime, until you see us tomorrow, keep talk, keep, uh, keep watching and talking horror, people. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys. Stay spooky and haunting. Haunting. I'm like a fashion model. Haunting. I think I swore a couple times in there. You think the sponsors are going to be angry about that? Fuck, we're going to be demonetized. Wait, do we have sponsors? No. Did we forget to, did we, did we forget to do the sponsor reading for the video? <laughs> Shit, they're really not gonna like it. Fuck, fuck, fuck! And I'm not scared. I'm not just saying this because we're getting paid. We need it. We totally dig the products. Please, Adam this and Eve, sponsor to, us. This video brought to you by Shudder and Deadstream. <laughs>